I'm supposed to keep these videos, I don't know, uh, under 15 minutes, YouTube said. I don't know. Um, I mean, when I first started playing three weeks ago or whatever, I was just recording like hours and hours and um, unfortunately I had to delete them all because it said you can only upload uh, be 15 minutes long and I just recorded this one and guess how long it was 15 minutes and 4 seconds so uh, this is round 2 And I'm down here at the bottom. And I'm next to this player that says I don't, that says I don't know how to play. I, I caught some brilliant tick play. Uh, the first time around, uh, I'm probably going to miss it this time. I'm trying not to miss these engagements. I mean, I know this is really early, but uh, to me, these are like the most funniest parts. These were just right next to that constructor and like weren't even firing or anything. But this was funny to me and they must not have noticed it because uh, if you can kill a constructor, I mean that's 110 metal and these ticks only cost 17 metal. So I don't think he uh, realized or saw it. Because he should have just killed that constructor. <clears throat> I'm not sure how this one dies. But he got a medal, and to me that was hilarious. And, and he got a little star. So he's got 25% health. This tick, this uh, constructor is reclaiming that tick. This one, this one's got three stars now. He still hasn't noticed it. Alright, he consumed that one. He, he, try, he tried to consume that one as well. But he's, he's down to half hit points. I mean, that's just a tremendous amount of damage. Why is there a pawn going to the... Why does blue have a pawn in the back of greens? Oh, because he sees this tick. But now he's moving it. He's just sitting there. <laughs> oh, my. 
my gosh. Those, those are like three or four ticks did so much. I mean, uh, killed a couple Mexas. Uh, it took away the one constructor. Oh, and you, you, I missed, I missed it. But I had mismicroed my my ticks here, and and I had microed them to just like be like right around here, and. Uh, but his base was here. So I had the, these things like spin around in circles for like 10 minutes. No, not 10 minutes, but like 30 seconds before I realized. And they, they didn't do anything because by the time, by the time they finished spinning around um, 30 times, you know, um, he had four grunts out. So he just died. I think they, I thought they could go on the hill here, but I guess they gotta be grunts or something. Mine just died. But I thought I was doing pretty good here. I mean, I got... I got... Um, I did three mexes and two the, two solars and that. I, I got my commander to the middle. I had my constructor come back and backfill all these spots. Uh, maybe I should have grabbed these first. But now, now I'm going to get those. And one thing I didn't notice is this guy was pushed so far back. He was like back here, the midline of the map is here. Um, so I could have actually pushed up and grabbed these two and been up here. But the problem we'll see is my laning partner is back here. And, and this guy moves up right here. So, you know, if I'm here, shit, if I'm here, and then my partner should be here too, but he's like way back here. Look how far back he is now. He's way back there. And so, like I said, this is what you don't do. This is what you don't do. And I didn't even notice some of these things in the back line, but... And this is why, if you're up here on the front line, they're not going to be able to get by you. Um, you take your commander out to the middle, start putting up light laser towers, you know, put a rally spot for the troops to go to. And then, like, when you get a second or third constructor out, they come in and backfill these things. One thing I missed earlier, um, like I said, I, I've recorded this. I mean, I um, recorded this and it went over. So I want to see what happens up here. But but look at look at the map. Look at like I'm up here. I'm right here. But what I don't realize is these two. Look how far back he is. He's way back here. So really, what I should have done is, is if I'm up here, I could like flank around, take out these, take out that. Um, he has nothing in his base. I mean, um, I could maybe n skip those and just, just make a beeline for the base. You know, but... The reason I did not was because this guy is way is so far back, and 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 this map in particular, I was talking about flanking and stuff. I don't know if I <clears throat> explained this, but um, let's let's just say I'm in the say I'm in the middle somewhere. Let's say I'm this guy. I do not know how to play. And let's say like I'm up I push way up here. Well, well this guy it wouldn't be about there. He'd be like he'd be right here. This guy would be right there. But if I'm when I'm pushed up this far and my teammates are like back here, um 
this guy can can flank me this guy can flank me and this guy can flank can attack me so it's basically three on one and then once once you kill that army there's nothing to stop you from going right into their base but um, I don't know maybe I maybe I should have been up here but the problem is when I'm this far up this guy could do the same thing to me he could come over here and um, I mean these three are totally unoffended this one at least has a tower here um, but he could just skirt around the edge or, or over here and just take these four out so I think maybe that's one reason why I didn't push up there but I could have I could have definitely at least put a light laser tower at these two um, and maybe grab the metal for a few seconds but yeah this guy really just screwed screwed me over because like I said he should be up here and he's way back here um, allowing this guy like to, to mess with me um, all right I want to see what happens up here because all right he's got units I think what happens basically these commanders die but I think what happens is he basically blows up his units and his base that has to be what happened He's not really making units right now because he's switching to a car lab. So look, he has no no units. So he stopped making units to build that car. I mean the the, the vehicle lab. They're doing okay right now, but some something happens here in a minute. Well, that was a good play. He only got his commander down to half. Yeah, he built this way too close. I would rather see him uh, build it right there. Alright, so his teammate... His teammate goes down. He has no units. He's got like two units because he... He got greedy and built this Geo too early, I think. And then there's no... And, and another thing I had mentioned in the other video that, of course, I deleted now was this guy, the wind here can go to zero. And he has only windmills. So if the wind goes to zero, this guy's screwed. Now this guy's screwed too if the wind goes to zero, but he has uh, energy storage. So he at least would have some energy to last him. But um, you see how this guy right here is basically right next to me. And um, he ends up messing with me because he's got his long range artillery so he can start harassing me. But because of the disaster that happened up top, this game is pretty much over. But yeah, this guy starts harassing me here pretty soon. But look, I mean, look, Red's base is dead. The 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 funny thing to me uh, was this player right here was still making units and didn't even help try to help his buddy. 